Hiya, my name is Leonora Trishuka and this is Rory Kerr and we are the Epping Forest Youth Council representatives for Epping St John's. Well, we got elect elected by putting voice recordings out around the school about why people should vote for us to be their representatives. Uh, and if they liked our uh, campaign, then they would vote for us in the ballot box in the school. And we were the ones that won, so now we're representing the school. So I'll ask the question to both of you. Why did you put yourselves forward in the first place? Why did you want to be the councillor for the school? Well, uh, I personally wanted to give voice to the youth of our school and the district, make people heard. I know there's so many people out there that can't get their uh, their voice heard about their, what they think and their views on uh, issues. Is that the same reason for you or um, what was your reason for standing? I personally found like the work with the Youth Council very interesting because I sort of researched it before the campaign and I thought that all of the um, projects that they do are really interesting and I think they're very important for the young people. So I decided to get involved because it's a chance to make a change in the community which you don't normally get just in school. Now the Youth Council has done quite a lot of work in, in recent years, among them is the bullying campaign. Just tell us a bit about what that involved. Um, last year we did a project called Hashtag You Are Not Alone and it was for Bullying Awareness Week where we distributed um, USB wristbands to all Year 9 students in the district as well as giving them a presentation on bullying prevention and awareness and what we do to help. So we gave them all different websites and different telephone numbers that they could get involved with or they could use as support. And finally to you Rory, uh, recently there was the Epping Forest Youth Conference. Um, that involved a debate with Eleanor Lang, the MP, and a vote on whether Britain should stay in Europe. Just uh, tell us a bit about that. Well, um, yeah, it was just a, a day about debating skills and public speaking, and at the end of the day we had a big debate about whether the UK should stay in the EU. Um, there was two teams about, why, about um, staying in and leaving. They gave good points about both sides of the argument. And um, in the end, I think it was we should stay in the stay in the EU. I think that's that's the result of it. Seventy-five percent. Yeah, seventy-five percent. So just one final question then: to anyone who's considering standing for the youth council in the future, when your term comes up, what would your message be to them? Um, well, go for it. Yeah, definitely do as much as you can to get yourself heard. Put yourself out there as much as you can. Get your uh, name around. Uh, places such as school, you know, get yourself known, and then people will tend to vote for you. And is that the same message from you? Yeah, it's such a good opportunity, and it's something that is very unique because there's only maybe two or three people from your school, so it makes you stand out. It makes you get involved in the community, and it really just—it's also a good confidence booster because I used to be very shy, and now I'm able to do things I couldn't do and I wouldn't have been able to do them without the Youth Council, so I'd love for other people to be able to get that experience as well.